Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we are going to begin with the JavaScript. JavaScript is basically a scripting language which can be embedded in a HTML page. HTML page simply means any web page which is running on World Wide Web. Once you embed the JavaScript in the page, you can provide the various functionalities to that particular web page such as you can put some validations, you can make the page even more interactive, you can put some animation kind of things. So that is all we can do using the JavaScript. So make sure before getting started with the JavaScript, you have the sufficient knowledge of HTML and CSS as we will be working with the web page and these two are the uh, important things which you must know for creating the interactive web page. Now, here as I just said it's a scripting language but if I'll add something more I will say it is a client side scripting language. Client side means whenever you will execute the JavaScript on a web page the complete execution will happen on the client side only. It, there will be no server side interaction while executing the JavaScript. That's why whenever we'll try to do some operations like putting the validations or doing the animation like things, everything will execute on the client side which will also efficiently execute the page means the performance of the page will be more better. Now something more about JavaScript, let's see. It is untyped. Untyped means if we know something about the programming languages, you may know about the thing called data types, which specifies the type of data we are going to process. But while working with JavaScript, you will observe like it is untyped, means it is not a type safe language. So whenever you will have to store something, you will just use a variant type and that type can store any type of value. So we will have to take care like which type of data we are going to manipulate manually. Apart from that, it is multi paradigm means you can do various kinds of development website development things related to JavaScript. Nowadays, JavaScript is also a backbone of so many different technologies like jQuery, AngularJS, Node.js and so many JS like technology you may be hearing nowadays. It is functional which will make the code even more modular. You can split the uh, particular code in the different functions and you can call them up on a particular event as it is also event driven. So using JavaScript in such a way will make it wonderful and so that we can use it even more creatively. It is interpreted by browser's JavaScript engine. Now, if the question comes like when I write a simple HTML, how it runs? Every browser has a parser which reads the HTML tags and render the text accordingly. For example, if I use h1 tag, so the text written within the h1 would be shown as the h1, as a heading 1, the biggest heading. But if I say what about JavaScript, means if I am writing some logical code, some programming like code how the browser will be able to execute that. So for that, as it is mentioned, every browser has the JavaScript engine. For example, for Chrome, it is V8 engine. For different browsers, it's different engine. So that JavaScript engine is actually able enough to execute the code which is run, which is written in the JavaScript and make sure while doing this, your JavaScript must be enabled for that particular browser. Only then you will be able to see the execution of your JavaScript code. Now, let's move on to some more advantages of JavaScript as it is less server interaction. All right, means while executing, it will execute mostly on the client side. So it will be a lesser interaction with the server and that will make the performance better all right because if the uh, code is here only and it is running on the client side the page will not be posted back to the server again and again and that will definitely enhance the performance of your web page 
richer interface as in jquery we internally use some of the functions of javascript which makes the uh, interface even more better so you can say like it will give you a richer interface through animations or through some uh, dynamic css kind of things which will make it even more attractive and the client will feel like good while working with the web pages increased interactivity that's what it means all right when you will create a rich interface a more interactive interface it will be a uh, good for the client and it will keep on coming to you so these are some key features of javascript from our next video onwards we will start with the implementation of it